it's Saturday night. And I'm just going to look at the flight replica, the new flight replicas B24 here briefly. I'm not going to do an in depth flight model episode on this one, not, at least not yet. This is just a first impressions kind of thing, right out of the box, stock, no modifications. I just want to see. I've flown it once but only once so this is my second flight and we'll just cruise around we're in Orbex Iceland right now and this looks pretty good I like it of course I'm gonna like it to be 24 right all right let's see what else we got here there's something opening, but I don't know what it is. It's not the Bombay. Hmm. I don't know what that was. Maybe a window or something? Oh, maybe it's the waste gunners. Let me just check something here. Anyways, let's go in the cockpit. Oh. All right, looks pretty good in here. Some clipping on the seat there in the back of the seat. And that sound effect doesn't want to shut up now. Okay, we got throttles, we got propellers switches those lights come on when you hit the limits of the propeller okay we got mixtures are rich we got i don't know if we can hide the yoke on this thing or not this really is first impressions guys i haven't even read the manual nothing okay i'm just checking this thing out we got tow brake animations, rudder pedals look good. Elevator trimmer there, rudder trimmer, aileron trimmer here. Um, what else can we do here? Toggle pilot. Waste gunners, let's click on them. Okay, that closes the waste gunner doors. There they are, ready for action. Button guard, let's see, feather the engines. Maybe we'll try that once we get airborne. We got an autopilot master switch there. We got co-pilot seat. <clears throat> yeah, I would get rid of the, yeah, to get rid of that clipping, I think I'll have to move my, nope. Move my viewpoint forward a little bit. A little bit more, perhaps. There, that should do it. That looks good. All right, we got engine starting switches over here. No, fuel pumps. Fuel pumps, oil dilution. And these are the engine starting switches down here. All right, and we got primers. I'm not going to go through the startup procedure. I mean, really, you know, read the manual, prime the engine, flick the switch, it starts. I'm just going to go control E. Okay, I got 20 degrees of flap for takeoff. Trims are neutral. I think the book calls for a little bit of right rudder trim, but I'm not going to bother on this flight. We'll see if it needs it or not. And we 
get some visors. Now what else have we got in here? Animations, we have sunshades. Cool. All right, I'm just gonna take off, fly around, give you my impression, first impressions. Hold the brakes. Looks like we're hitting the RPM limit there at 25 inches of manifold pressure. I don't know if that's accurate. I don't think so, but I'll have to look into it. Fuel pressure looks good. Oil pressure. off the runway here this is looking a bit iffy but they flew these things here during the war so I'm only I'm, I'm under 56,000 pounds we should be able to get off the ground here around 120 130 this is looking scary Five inches and 2500 RPM and try to trim this thing up here trim is sensitive you know what I'm gonna go let's level off and I'm gonna throttle back to 31 inches 30 let's go 30 inches 30 inches and 2200 should be that's our maximum weak continuous. And we should be able to cruise at that 160, 150 or more or better. I think they recommend for long range, they recommend 160, somewhere around there. And visibility is not great over the nose. Plane's flying very nose high here, and I'm not sure how accurate that is. I don't think it's maybe a little excessive. Let's make a turn here. I like the roll control. The roll control feels really good to me. This is really nice. Excellent. Elevator control feels pretty good too. The ball's a little off. I got to step on the rudder a little bit here. Might be carrying a bit too much side slip in the turn there. I have to check that out. That's a common thread, a common theme for a lot of airplanes too. So I got a little, I got quite a bit of rudder into it right now to keep that ball centered. Probably too much. Too much for my liking anyway. 
but like I said, I really like the, the aileron control feels really good. Really nice. So let's step on the rudder here. It's a uh, little slow. A little sluggish on the rudder. No oscillations whatsoever. I suspect it's a little over dampened, carrying too much side slip in a turn. Just a little bit. Not too bad. You know what? I need more power here. We're barely hanging in the air here at 160. This is the recommended cruising speed, by the way. But I want to get her up higher, maybe do some stalls, some engine out handling. So back up to 45 inches and 2,500 RPM. And we'll climb on up. Shut the engine engine one down. See what happens. Feathering controls don't seem to work. Shut the number two engine down. Hmm.
little bit of strangeness here. I got the ball centered and the airplane's rolling to the right. And yet it's the engines on the right that are running at full power. And so you would think you would get some extra lift on that side of the of the airplane. Maybe that lee light is dragging us down. We seem to be able to maintain altitude here on two engines at pretty heavy weight. Two engines on one side. The book says I should be able to trim down to 140. I got full trim dialed in now, and the ball's starting to slip out of the uh, starting to slip out there a little bit. May need a bit more rudder trim effectiveness there. All right, I'm gonna do some stalls here and then a couple stalls and then we'll land. Let's get these engines going again. Let's see here, engine one, two, three, four. Oh wait, I have to unfeather them, don't I? Does that work? That works, I think. No, it doesn't. I don't have manifold pressure on the number. Did I get the mixture in? Yeah, I did. There we go. Okay, we're back in business. I can take that rudder trim out now. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Yeah, the elevator trim is really sensitive. Really quite sensitive on the elevator trimmer there. I'm not very high up to do a stall. That's really probably not a good idea, but <laughs> you know what? I'm just going to cheat. I'll slew up a couple thousand feet here just to be on the safe side. There we go. Okay, let's pull the throttles back. See what happens. to the RAF pilot notes to stall at 56,000 pounds with 130 miles an hour. Oh, there's, a, there's the warning. Right, right about there, 120, 120. Pull, pull the elevator full back. There's full up elevator. We'll have some semblance of roll control here.
nine. So I can put the flaps down and the gear down. Actually, you're supposed to put the gear down before the flaps, I think, and not at the same time. value is 105 miles an hour or 55% lift increase from the flaps. elevator still have a little bit of roll control so the stall speed might have been a little bit slow there Maybe a little too much lift from the flaps. We'll have to look into that. But um, I want to speed up here a little bit. We'll make our approach 130-ish. So I can see where I'm going. And I think this, this airport has a longer runway, so we should be able to <laughs> hopefully land okay here. I got a lot of power here just to... just to maintain 130. I like it though, I like, I like how it feels. It feels pretty good. A couple little things, you know, the usual things. You know, the, um, the over dampened yaw axis is probably the main one. Other than that, it actually feels pretty good. I didn't have anywhere near full elevator in that when it when the airplane stalled. Maybe half, maybe a third to half. So I'll need to look at the uh, pitch stability margins on this thing. The usual stuff, but I like it. It's pretty good out of the box. Seems to be anyway. much elevator trim I got into it right now not much I don't think 0 0.3 degrees on the pitch trim so all right let's come way off on the power pitch down a couple of degrees
I'm at idle power right now. We're gliding, essentially. how the nose dives with the brake application there that's pretty cool brakes are not terribly effective on this thing either kind of like a Heinkel 111 yeah brakes are not effective you need a long runway all right that's the B24 in a nutshell. I'll be going into this one, looking it over. We'll, we'll check out the Davis. Uh, I plan on doing a, looking at the Davis wing section as well in some detail. Some airfoil theory there. We'll tie that in in the future. I like it. My dad's uncle, Bob McClellan, served in RAF Coastal Command in 120 squadron they had a detachment in Iceland and Northern Ireland I think he was a mechanic or something like that part of the ground crew anyway that's it for it for now I'm gonna get two videos out in one day here holy crap